this poem is called Conrad and it's you know when I went to Hamburg first many many years ago I came across a lot of young German people I worked at the university for a while and a lot of young people who wanted to go to Ireland or Scotland or Romania or you know Greece or somewhere they were all kind of it was the time of, I suppose they had this kind of student idea in their heads of going to a more simple society where things were kind of better and there was no electricity or technology and all this kind of stuff and I found it fascinating really and uh, I remember then as a young guy over in Mayo where you'd have Germans and Dutch who came over and bought old houses and did them up and worked on them and things like that and I found it kind of fascinating they used to do all this sort of stuff and they would say oh they had listened to the Dubliners or whatever you know but they became fascinated by Ireland or it could have been Scotland but I just put this poem together and I called it Conrad it's about I suppose a man who came to live in Mayo and he lived his life there and I'll read the poem Conrad when Conrad a young German came to Mayo in the 70s he was heading for Chirnanog a Shangri-La without high tech here he could escape his own reflection far from the burden of his legacy he talked the talk seen the pictures and heard the music all he'd ever wanted was a remote cottage by a stream some cash for basics and a bit of a hillside for goats and a few sheep. He'd need a good garden to grow spuds, carrots and onions like the locals did, with herbs of all sorts and radishes too. And there'd be a pool with lads in a cosy pub and music round an open fire on Fridays. He'd want to be at one with this banter, to merge with the fragrance of hillside colour where cows were content. He'd keep bees and on sunny days sell honey across the half door of his whitewashed cottage. Conrad was no quitter. Years went by. His house shone. Flowers and fruit grew rich and welcoming in his humming garden. Neighbours would nod and when he was away with dogs on the mountain, they'd stop their cars to admire. Track suits and trainers caught on. Weed killer was on everyone's lips. Whitewash was frowned upon. Flowers came from Amsterdam and lawns were nurtured by pushy centre pages. When he thought no one was looking, Conrad would go to the church to light a candle, to weep a little in his own language. He was older now and hadn't been home for a long time. It was almost over as soon as it had begun. Loneliness had to be learned.